Good morning, Rangers. I'm Logan Hoover. And I'm Skylar Hoover. And this is your Ranger Report for Thursday, November 9th. The Turkey Feather Race is on. Classes of Alotis Jacobs, Arp, Boudier, Edmondson, Goad, Hamilton, Hinch, Holmes, Neasley, Petmecki, Price, Quinones, Sanders, Shepard, Spielman, and Albrecht have all donated. By the end of Tuesday, donations totaled $942, with Sepage's class in the lead, Hamilton's class not far behind, and Boudier's class trucking along. The top two third period classes that collect the most will receive a pizza party next week. If you have not turned in your money, send it down to C106 as soon as possible as organizers need to determine what money will be available to buy the Thanksgiving dinners for the SV families. Hi teachers! This year we have turkey feathers again this November. Uh, every feather is 25 cents and as you all know, we get a pizza party for whichever class wins. And we have a special guest today to talk to you about our turkey feathers. Hi everyone! I realize that no one among you has the capacity to do as well as I did last year. You know, Coach Adkins, if you're out there, you always tried and were never able to beat me. So maybe one of you guys this year will be able to come close to what I've done in the past. Last year I raised over $3,000 just in my classes. When I say I, I mean we the kids. So give it a shot. It's for a worthy cause. It helps out lots and lots of people. Make it fun in your classes. Offer a pizza or something. See if you can beat me. See ya. Do it for the community. <laughs> Don't forget that to wear red, white, and blue tomorrow to show your support for our veterans. The following students were selected as our October Students of the Month. Ninth grade, Wesley Barton and Sarah Scott. 10th grade, Emily Gibson and Chandler Cole. 11th grade, Jacob Tostado and Emily Orosi. And 12th grade, Samuel Summer and Gabriella Sandoval. Keep up the good work. Tomorrow is our Veterans Day Assembly. If you have a family member that is a veteran, be sure to tell them to, they are welcome to come to school for breakfast from 9.30 to 10.45 in the morning. They just have to check into the front office and they will be escorted to breakfast. Also, we have a special seating on the track for the veterans as well. And now, here's Hannah with an update on world news. Thank you, Inkers. Supernova IPTF14HLS is the zombie star that won't die. The star has appeared to explode multiple times, but still hasn't met its demise. A supernova is usually the last stage in a star's life. However, for this star, it has beaten death since 1954 when it first exploded. Researchers still have a lot to learn about the life cycle of a star, along with the energy it releases by setting this anomaly. In other news, Nutella has recently decided to change its recipe for the beloved hazelnut spread. Cocoa is returning to the list of ingredients and the proportion of skimmed milk powder has gone from 7.5% to 8.7%. The new color will also be slightly lighter. Pietro Ferrero has declined repeated requests to reveal any other changes to the recipe. While this will not be the last change, hopefully the changes to Nutella will not lessen the appeal. Today is National Louisiana Day and National Scrapple Day, and your Did You Know Fact of the Day is Did You Know Walmart loses on average $3 billion a year to theft? Now, back to the anchors. Thank you, Hannah. Hey, Logan. Yes, Kevin? What kind of music did the Pilgrims like? I don't know what. Plymouth Rock. <laughs> well, I'm Skylar Hoover. And I'm Logan Hoover. And this has been your Ranger Report. Have a Ranger-ific day.